Hello everyone, welcome to watch this video. In this video, we will teach you how to use C and Python to program on the Raspberry Pi to read the data of the DHT11. First, let's get to know DHT11. DHT11 is a sensor with a calibrated digital signal output. It uses a special digital module acquisition technology and temperature and humidity sensing technology to ensure that the product has extremely high reliability and excellent long-term stability. The sensor includes a resistive humidity sensing element and an NTC temperature measuring element, and it is connected with a high-performance 8-bit microcontroller. It can be used to measure humidity and temperature. The measuring accuracy of humidity is plus minus 5% RH, and the measuring accuracy of temperature is plus minus 2 degree. The the measuring range of humidity is 20 to 90 percent RH, and the measuring range of temperature is 0 to 50 degree. DHT11 supports VCC operating voltage range of 3 to 5 volt. DHT11 uses a single bus protocol to transmit data. It transmits 40 bits of data at a time, which is equivalent to 40 bits. Each time the DHT11 data is read, it must be read 40 times at a time, which is equivalent to reading 40 bits. Data format 40 bit data equal to 8 bit humidity integer plus 8 bit humidity decimal plus 8 bit temperature integer plus 8 bit temperature decimal plus 8 bit check. The first 16 bits are related to humidity while the middle 16 bits are related to temperature and the last 8 bits are used for verification. When the data transmission is correct, the checksum data is equal to the last 8 digits of the sum of 8-bit humidity integer data plus 8-bit humidity decimal data plus 8-bit temperature integer data plus 8-bit temperature decimal data. After learning the DHT11, let's start the operation. We connect the DHT11 and the Raspberry Pi development board according to the connection method of the circuit diagram. The positive pin of the DHT11 is connected to the 3.3 volt on the GPIO expansion board, which is the number one interface. The negative pin is connected to the ninth GND interface on the GPIO expansion board. The S pin is connected to interface 7 on the GPIO expansion board. Then use the USB type C cable to power the Raspberry Pi development board. After connecting, open the installed Mobuxton software on the computer. Double click the Raspberry Pi that has been connected in the user sessions list on the left. Enter the account name Pi and press enter to successfully log into the Raspberry Pi. We first learn how to use C language to program on the Raspberry Pi to read the data of DHT11. First of all, we need to compile and run the code program for this lesson and enter the command in the command window. CD adapt ultimate starter kit for RPI. Lesson 6. DHT11 code C. Press enter to enter the C code program directory of this lesson. Then enter the command to view the contents of the current directory ls. Lesson 6 DHT11.c is the C code program for this lesson. In the command window, enter the command to compile the code program. sudo gcc lesson 6 dht11.c dash l wiring pi press enter after the compilation is successful an a dot out file will be generated by default enter the command to view the contents of the current directory ls then enter the command to run the code program dot slash a dot out after successfully running the program we notice that Two results will appear in the command window. The first output is data not good skip, 
which means that the verified data is incorrect and it is not read. The second output is the data of humidity and temperature of DHT11, indicating that the verified data is correct. Finally, press Ctrl and C to terminate the running program. So how does our C code program read the data of DHT11? Enter the command to view the code sudo nano lesson 6 dht11.c Let's look at the main function first. We will read the dht11 data with the jar hdt11 that function. Only when the data has been successfully verified will it be read. We use the if statement to verify the data. The process of verification is the sum of the first four bytes is equal to the fifth check code. If the data verification is not successful, then their not good skip will be printed. Then the data of the DHT11 is successfully read. Press Ctrl and X and then press Enter to exit. We then learn how to use the Python language to program on the Raspberry Pi to read the data of the DHT11. First, enter the command to return to the previous directory, cd double dot. Then, enter the command to enter the Python directory, cd python. Enter the command to view the contents of the current directory, ls. Lesson 6 dht11.py is the code program for this lesson. Enter the command to run the Python code program, sudo python3 lesson 6 dht11.py. After successfully running the program, we observe that the command window will display the data of DHT11. Press Ctrl and C to terminate the running program. So how does our Python code program read the data of DHT11? Enter the command to view the code sudo nano lesson 6 DHT11.py. In the program, first initialize the GPIO. Set the encoding method to Borat. Set the pin used to read the data to 7. Get the data of DHT11 with result equal to instance.read. Use if to judge whether the obtained data is correct. If the data is correct, the data will be printed out. That's all. Thank you all for watching and supporting. See you in the next video.